Hi everyone, welcome back to G Fizz and Pilates. I'm Gabby. Today I'm going to show you some strengthening exercises for your hips. So we're going to target your hip flexors and your glutes today. The stronger your glutes and your hip flexors are, the better runner you'll be, the better swimmer. Your bum muscles are actually quite important. It's the foundation of the spine and also the top part of your legs. So if we can get them working tonight, you'll feel the difference in no time. Let's get you laying down on your side to begin with. So I'm going to lay on my left with the bottom hand nice and straight underneath with a Pilates pillow underneath the ear. If you want to use a normal pillow, go ahead, but as long as your nose and chin is aligned with your spine. We're going to have the legs straight, hips aligned on top of each other, toes pointing up towards us, keeping your hips aligned, but making sure that your hip is going towards your foot. Because on those of girls, we kind of relax and we dip here. So I just want you just to push your hip down towards your feet. The top hand will have spider fingers. If you struggle with this position, just bend your bottom leg, keeping the hips aligned. It's okay to do a little bit easier if you're struggling a little bit. But we're gonna try doing both legs straight with the toes pointing up. We're engaging the center and we're gonna start off with a side kick. So you're gonna lift your leg up to hip height, making sure we're engaging the center. We're breathing in, taking it forward as far as happy as you can go and then bring it back. Just where we started. But then we're gonna go down to the next foot and bring it up again. We're doing about six times and you should feel it on your bum and your lovely hip flexors. Bring it down. This time we're going to take a deep breath in and breathe out to come up. Breathe in to come forward. Breathe out to come back and breathe in for it to come down. Remember to relax the shoulder as you're doing this, making sure you're breathing making sure that your back's nice and straight. And as the leg is moving forward, that the spine doesn't move. Everything's nice and straight. But like I said, if this is too hard for you, just bend the bottom leg, doing the exact same exercise, but it's just controlling the spine. Because sometimes you've got to start with level ones first and then go for level twos. Let's just do one more to make it six. You're bringing it up. Coming forward and then coming down. Good. That was a nice side kick. So now I want you to lift your leg up and I want you to point your toes away from you. Now we're going to add some circles with all the movements coming from the hip joint. But I want you just to relax the shoulders and breathe. And you should feel this in your bum and your leg. But it's a nice one to do for the leg muscles. Once we do about six reps, go in circles, then I went to the other way. So we're just moving it the other way than when we started. But remember, I want you to breathe in through your nose, breathe out. Lovely. Holding it there for another six seconds. We're just holding it for six, five, four, Three, two, one. I'm going to pulse it up and down now. We're just pulsing it nice and controlled. Brilliant. You should really feel those muscles working now. So I want you to take a deep breath in and breathe out. Lovely. I'm just going to drop the leg and bring the knee up towards you. Hand, nice little rub. Give it a smack if you need to, just to get those muscles working. Good, we should do one more exercise on that bum muscle. We're going to do a clam level one. So we're going to bend the knees, feet together. The knees I want 90 degrees, the hip I want 45 degrees. The best way to find out if it's 45 is if it's high, that's 90. If it's too low, that's zero. Now find your 45. 
And this, if you're looking from on top, your head, shoulder, hip and feet should be in one alignment. We're making sure that the hip is going towards the foot so that the nice little spine is nice and straight. Hands, spider fingers, and all I want you to do is bring your knee as high as it can go and down. Engage the centers, really control the motion. If you find that your knee is going too high, it makes the spine move. So the spine is staying. Everyone has a different motion of this. So only go as far as you can. So we're taking a deep breath in, breathing out, come up, breathing in, breathing out, breathing in. Good, one more to make it six. And this time we're gonna hold it up here. So holding that knee up for six, five, four, three, two, one. And then we're adding a small little pulse. So we're just going pulsing for six, five, four. Make sure you're breathing nice and controlled. Lovely, and we're holding it again for another six. So six, five, four, three, two, one. Dropping it nice and controlled. Here, you needed to feel it there. If you weren't feeling it right on the hip joint, right behind it, then you weren't doing the muscles right. But give it a nice little smack. And if you weren't doing it right, just bring your feet slightly more lower next time. It should feel a difference. If you find that needs a bit of a stretch for your knee to your chest, give it a nice little rub. Brilliant. And then just do one more exercise. We're gonna straighten the legs again. And if you want to, you can add a small little ball in between your legs. So we're grabbing a small little ball, placing it in between the legs. You don't have to if you don't have one, but we're just going for that nice straight line. And all I want to do, toes pointing up. So we're going to lift your legs up off the ground and then bring it down, keeping that ball in between your feet. So we're doing six times. We're taking a deep breath in. And breathing out, breathing in, breathing out, and keep that spine nice and long, using your core, we're just getting these muscles working nice and controlled. Like I said, it's a hip joint exercise, so all these are going to get your hips nice and strong, meaning your bum, your hip flexors, everything around your hips. One more time, this time I'm gonna hold it up for one, two, three, four, five, six. And then we're pulsing. Just going up and down, nice and controlled, just pulsing up and down. Lovely, for four, three, two, one. Dropping nice and controlled, bring your right leg up again. Give it a nice little rub if you need to. Good. Now you're just going to grab your pillow and you're just going to put your pillow on the other side and at home I want you to the other side exactly like we did it on the right side. But I hope you enjoyed it. Remember we're getting yourself stronger so that does mean you've got to exercise two or three times a week but it's worth it in the end. Have a lovely day. Hope you like this. Hope you like this video, and please subscribe.